finally here, the first day of camp. Hey, doesn't it feel great to have two? Moose Rump, now Dusty Tush. One day you'll own a Kiki Walk on every stupidly named town in the country. <laughs> sure, sure, I definitely own this camp. Hey, hey, look, a redhead. We don't get many of those recessive genes. Why are you being weird? You do own this camp, right? Of course. The owner and I just have to go over one tiny little detail, which is I still have to buy it and he still has to give it to me. Wait, so you don't own this camp? Lou, if I'm the more responsible one here, we are in big trouble. <laughs> Look, the owner and I have been emailing back and forth, and he said it's basically a done deal. Plus, he loves me. He lol at all my jokes. Well, now we know this man is a liar. <laughs> He's coming by today, and then it'll be official. Because what's the other option? Telling all the kids to go home and giving their parents their money back, then returning to Maine in disgrace? <laughs> <laughs> Are campers here yet? Yeah, I can't wait to make my new boys best friends with each other. Just like I did with Finn and Mateo. Weren't they best friends before you got there? Girl, please, was there even a camp before me? <laughs> so, Lou, who are my new Mustangs? I'm ready to teach them everything I know. Arts and crafts, nurturing the environment. And on the last day of camp, we'll definitely promise to write handwritten letters, not emails, and glitter pin. <laughs> well, you actually only have one camper. We're a new business, and the feral chicken scared off a lot of kids. <laughs> but according to what I have written down here, Winnie is just the angel you described. <laughs>Okay, I've had all day to process this, but it's finally here after a nice quiet spring day in Sandy Ridge, after an amazing Tuesday at work. I mean, wow. But anyway, so before we eat, drink, and watch my other fellow YouTubers like do their damn thing, I'm here to preview the six se upcoming sixth season of Bunked on Disney Channel, the new Wow Wow West. We're getting down at the Wow Wow West. We're all Wow West theme like Will Smith. <laughs> It would be nice if they used that song in one of the episodes this year, maybe some, you know, considering, you know, Will Smith did Stevie Wonder justice, you know, but I doubt that they'll probably don't get the rights to that shit, but wishful thinking on my part, because there was a one time, there was a point in my life, of, like, where I, I went through a phase where I was obsessed with that song, now I just really don't care about it anymore, but... Let's talk about it. So season six premieres on June 10th, just a week after Ultraviolet and um, Villains of Valley View premieres. And I'm super, I'm super excited to spend my Friday nights every week, even if it means I have to run in and park, run inside and park the bus early on Fridays, just so I can do this shit, you know. Bunks, you know, the triple header starts June 10th. We got bunked at 7:30, I believe. We have um, Villains of Valley View at 8. And of course, you know, I think at 9 o'clock is, um, I know Ultraviolet afterwards, but is it, is, Vill is it are Ultraviolet and Villains of Valley View 30 minute shows or 60 minute shows? I'll just double check, but either way, we're getting a triple header from June 10th and beyond this whole summer, and it's going to be exciting. My fave, obviously, Miranda May, one of my ultimate favorite actresses will be back as, you know, the only character and the only cast member to appear in every single season of this damn show, dating back to before I got there. My other, my favorite of the campers, Mallory James Mahoney as Destiny Baker, the greatest Dallas Stars fan of all time, is thankfully returning. And we're get, I know Will Bowie Jr. as Finn as was one of the ones from last year that left, but luckily he's going to play the role that, you know, Ultraviolet's own Scarlet Estevez played last year. He's going to do a special guest role, you know, so, you know, a special, you know, cameo appearance, like a one-off return, um, thin it to win it. So, therefore, I look forward to seeing that episode towards the end of the summer. So, he's kind of doing what Scarlet did, did as, as Gwen last year, a one-off, you know, re return, you know. And, you know, Emma did the same thing in the season four premiere a year ago, a one-off return, you know. Considering, though, she did the show full-time before I got there. You know, I'm going to miss Mateo and, um... No, Finn. I'm going to miss Finn. I'm going to miss Mateo. And I'm going to miss, um, most importantly, I'm going to miss Ava. Because that that's also what... She, she, uh, that was one of my favorite characters because she shares one of my best friends' name. But I'm down to give the new their replacement Shiloh, Alfred, and Luke a shot, you know. You know, I did this shit with a million little things several times, you know. With, you know, Matia Castrillo, Nicole Munoz, Munoz, or whoever. How do you say her name? 
And what was the other person's name? That Melody girl. I can't remember her last name. They were, you know, when, you know, Valley, Liam, and, um... Keanu was recast. You know, the I hated to see their original actors go, but I I enjoyed the replacement. So if I can enjoy them, I can enjoy, you know, these three too. I had the same thing with the Las Leyendas del Templo reboot over the winter that was filmed last summer. I was hoping they'd bring back Kirk Fogg as host, you know, considering they brought Dee Bradley Baker back as the host. I mean, as the voice of Olmec. And I was hoping they'd do the same with Kirk, but unfortunately they didn't. And they went with Cristela Alonso instead. Even though, to be fair, they did bring Kirk back for some minor guest roles, but... I wanted to see Kirk Fogg come back. You know, I gave Cristela and Lonzo a shot, and I really liked her. And we interacted really well on Twitter, you know, during that season, even though I never got to finish the season with the last three episodes. You know, I hope that if they come back for season two, not only do we get to see more former contestants from the original Lastly and this Del Templo without were kids come back as adults, but we also see Kirk if that you know if that ends up happening, along with all the other these other newbies we have never seen before. I hope we get to see Kirk and Cristela do the show together. Like, you know, Kirk, Kirk returns as the host and Cristela is the co-host. You know, like a Pat Sajak, Vanna White thing on Doe. Like they do what like Pat and Vanna have done on WOF since the 1983-1984 season. That would be fucking awesome if they did that. But we're still thinking, I doubt it's going to happen, but you never know. The TV gods are magical. I got something on my lip, you know. Yeah, I apologize for that, guys. But... Anyway, so, I did the same thing with, you know, Liza Koshy. I wanted Mark Summers to come back as the host as the Double Dare reboot back in 2018. But even though they kept Mark there, he did the, the role that used to belong to Harvey on the original. You know, be the announcer, and I ended up liking Liza Koshy. I mean, I wanted Jason Harris to, like, make a guest well, role. Even if, I mean, he just came to visit, like, a guest role, guest appearance, I wanted him to make some kind of return. But they never, they invited Mark back, but they never invited Jason back. But, hey, Mark did it first, even though, to be fair, Mark never appeared on the on the 2000 reboot, which is how I was introduced to Double Dare, because that's the one I grew up with. I only knew of the original Double Dare because of, you know... Um, Nickelodeon Gas. Not the Garra Action Isidore Ma Latino American block, but the American channel. Kind of like the only reason why I knew Family Feud and Match Game and Card Structure, all these originals that were later rebooted on ABC that I was watching in 2019 and 2020 was because of GSN, back when the channels weren't the shit. But here's my translation. You never know if you like something or like someone or not if you never tried it and never or never met them. I did it on a million little things. I did it on Double Dare. I did it on Last Leg and Del Templo. I've even done it on SEAL Team, where Judd Lorman kind of like, you know, got demoted in favor of Mike Wade. And even, you know, back when it was still on CBS, I gave Mike Wade a chance. I ended up liking him, you know. It's just, you gotta try it first. You got, we done it with Last Leg and Del Templo, Double Dare, a million little things, SEAL Team. What we can do it with those shows, we can do it with Bunk too. So, I'm looking forward to, you know, seeing what, you know, the new Mateo, Finn, and Ava can do, you know, you, you know, consider, you know, you know, I know in that, in that sneak peek, in that little, episode, like, season, season, season six premiere, you know, uh, bro, clip, you know, like, showing a little pre, you know, showing the little sample of the, you know, the Steve Park installment, you know, how, um, one of the campers mentioned what happened to Mateo, Finn, and, Ava, I'm gonna miss them, you know. I think it was Noah that said it, I think. Noah said it, because I know Destiny didn't say it, because I know Mallory James Mahoney liked the back of my hand, you know. And, you know, I think it was Noah that did say it. He seemed a little sad about, you know, Finn, Mateo, and Ava not, not being back, so... I would have been sad, too, if I was me in character. But season six is going to be a banger every Friday night, even if it means we have to park the bus or, you know, just decide to stay in altogether, that we'll be, we'll be better prepared. But before we do this, you know, little Disney Channel summer season, if, you know, the TV, if, you know, the Nickelodeon television season of Danger Force and Side Hustle and, you know, the Fox television season of Welcome to Flash all ends in the nick of time, we're going to do that mega mix of, um... NCIS with Bria B, Daniel DiMaggio, and Matt Sato, and This Is Us with Olivia Sanabia. We're going to do that mega mix, and there will be a reaction video to that, too. And I'm going to watch all that shit on Hulu, so, therefore, um, 
Miranda May and Mallory James Mahoney are back to, for more like Mike Skinner just to tear some shit up like Terry Labonte at Camp Kiki Walker and a revamp Wow Wow West theme. You know, we got Parker coming back, you know, you know, Parker Preston, you know, Trevor Tordman. I just hope they have Priscilla come back for another episode just because, you know, her, her actress is, an, is one of my, another one of my ultimate favorite actresses, which got to share the spotlight with one of my, another one of my ultimate favorite actresses in the same sc screen, you know, Miranda Elizabeth, you know, they both have the little name Elizabeth, Miranda Elizabeth May and Megan Elizabeth Donnelly. I hope they, they bring Priscilla back so we can have seen the war of the Megan Miranda show like we did at the end of last season. I still have yet to watch the penultimate episode of last season. I just skipped right over that. So, I might as well do that one before we get the season six premiere started. That way, we know the whole story properly, considering how I thought the season five finale was the series finale, considering how scared I was that they were going to cancel it. But I'm so glad I was fucking wrong. So, we get another season of Miranda, Elizabeth, and Mallory James as um, Lou Hothauser and Destiny Baker. So, that's all I wanted to come on here and talk about, you know, give my preview of um season six of bunked and what i'm looking forward to the most and who the stuff that from past the past two seasons last year and the year before that i'm gonna miss so tomorrow we get to knock out the goldbergs and really little things with the what button installment and the uh, tony stewart installment and the uh, both of those reaction videos will be more of like you know season four Season 9, Final Thoughts of Goldberg. Season 4, Final Thoughts of Million Little Things. More than an episode reaction. They'll be able to talking about a little bit of the episode, but only the very endings of those episodes to end the season. I know we're getting a cliffhanger for AMLT tomorrow. I know we're getting that. You know, DJ Nash, like I said in my other Million Little Things videos, you call DJ Nash and tell, tell, tell him, ask him what, you know, and more details about the cliffhanger. Don't ask me. I just make my, I just make videos showing my thoughts and reactions, you know, to all these episodes that are of these shows I watch each and every year, every single week of every season, you know. That's not, I do not make those decisions. DJ Nash made it himself, so you call him, not me. Because he's the one that said this year's cliffhanger season finale is going to be crazier than Gary kicking Peter's shit in like Ricky Rudd last year or Eddie getting hit by the car the year before by eventually what turned out to be, uh, what was that character's name um, that Rachel Nichols played? Um, you know, we found out the person who hit Eddie, you know, in season two that, you know, we later got revealed and I think it was season four. I don't remember the character's name, but that's a conversation we're going to save for tomorrow night, I think. We're going to save that conversation for tomorrow night. And then Thursday, since, you know, we're going to try to keep up with, you know, the Flash danger, you know, the Flash force, you know, Flash you know, danger force and side hustle stories. Um, you know, in the proper manner, we're going to skip those episodes just so I can give you guys, you know, well, of course, I might do a warm. I might do a warm weather banger either Thursday or Friday. Well, I know Thursday I'm gonna give my pivoting final thoughts and farewell. If if I if I have time on Thursday, then I will um do a warm weather banger. But if that doesn't happen on Thursday, it's going to happen. It's going to happen on Friday. A warm weather banger is going to happen on Friday if it doesn't happen Thursday. And then Saturday will be episode three of Poker Game Night, you know, with the cops. And then of course Sunday, since I. I know Texas might be good, and I know people are looking forward to it because of how the Gen 7 has fixed a lot of problems that, you know, NASCAR was having that they were refusing to fix and that fans were bitching about, but I'm not, I mean, even though if I, even if I wanted to watch the All-Star Race this Sunday, I'm not going to because even though it's going to be 62 on Sunday, I basically found something better to do, a birthday party in the neighborhood, and that's where I'm going, and I'm going to bring that to you here on my channel, so therefore, that's the upcoming, you know, schedule I'm going to um, bring you guys, so, you know, I thought I was going to give you a warmer to bang on Sunday, but one, it's going to be a little colder than I thought, and two... Even if it was warm, I'm bringing you to the bad birthday party instead. So I look forward, you know, we're back in business. Right now, it's going to be free game until June 18th, you know. I might sneak in the wedding, you know, as a, as if, if if possible. I'll be lucky to sneak that in. Whether I do or not, it's going to be free game from June 19th all the way until Season 2 of, Adventure, of Adventures in Autumn come September. So have a good night tonight and a better day tomorrow. Life will give you a lot of lows, but when you hit a high, enjoy it. It ain't for the week. Goddamn.
be you. You have to try harder to do less. You can't deport a dream. Sometimes the worst things in life lead to the best things. So take care, everyone. Good night to all the bunks, folks. I'll see you all on Friday night, June 10th for the Steve Park installment, a.k.a. the Season 6 premiere. And to everyone else out there, I will see you all for that next video, next two videos tomorrow to be exact. Season 9 Goldberg Final Thoughts and Season 4 Million Little Things Final Thoughts. So see you later, everyone.